In a sleepy little village called Dozeville, where the rooftops snoozed under fluffy clouds and the flowers nodded off in the breeze, lived a curious girl named Lila and her bouncy puppy, Snooze. Lila loved adventures, but sometimes, especially after a big day, she'd open her mouth wide and let out a giant yawn. One cozy evening, as she stretched on her porch, she yawned so big her eyes watered. Snooze! she giggled, rubbing them. Why do we yawn? Are we turning into sleepy dragons? Or singing to the moon? Snooze barked and flopped in a circle. Woof, woof! Let's find out. It's a yawny mystery. With Snooze trotting beside her, Lila wandered through Dozeville to the Snuggly Barn, home of Granny Knapp, the coziest storyteller around. Granny Knapp had a quilt like a rainbow and a smile that felt like a hug. She knew everything about sleep. Granny Knapp, Lila called, peeking through the barn door. Why do we yawn? Granny Knapp looked up from her rocking chair, chuckled, and patted a cushion. Oh, Lila and Snooze, that's a stretchy question. Come sit, I'll tell you the yawny tale. Lila plopped onto the cushion, and Snooze curled up beside her, yawning with a tiny woof. Granny Knapp's eyes twinkled as she began. Yawning's a funny little trick we all have, even Snooze. It's like a big stretch for your body and brain. When you're tired, your brain gets warm, like a busy oven baking ideas all day. A yawn swoops in. Ah! To cool it down with a big gulp of air. Lila's mouth dropped. Cool my brain? Like a fan? Granny Knapp nodded. A sleepy fan? It's your body's way of saying, time to chill. Snooze yawned again, his tongue curling. Woof! Sleepy? Granny Knapp grinned. Yep, yawning's a signal. Bedtime's near. But it's not just for sleep. Sometimes you yawn when you're bored, like if a story's too long, or even when you're excited and your brain's buzzing. Lila giggled. So it's a brain helper? Granny Knapp rocked her chair. A big one! Scientists say it keeps your head happy, cool and calm. And here's the fun part. It's catchy. When Snooze yawns, you might yawn too. Lila yawned, ah, and laughed. It's contagious. Granny Knapp winked, like a yawn party. Long ago, people think it helped us stick together. If one yawned, everyone knew it was nap time. Now, it's just a silly surprise. Snooze barked and yawned again, making Lila yawn back. Woof, party. He seemed to say. Lila clapped. Why does it feel so big? Granny Knapp stretched her arms wide. That's the magic. Your mouth opens, your lungs fill up, whoosh and your brain gets a fresh breeze. It's like a hug from the inside. Just then, a breeze rustled the barn, and Lila yawned so big she flopped back on the cushion. Does it mean I'm always sleepy? She asked. Granny Knapp chuckled. Not always. Sometimes it's just your brain saying, Hey, I'm ready for a break. Even animals yawn. Cats, dogs, even lions. Snooze rolled onto his back yawning with a goofy grin. Woof! Lion yawn! Lila laughed so hard she yawned again. Ah! We're yawn twins! She cheered. Granny Knapp tossed a blanket over them. Try it! Yawn big! Lila stretched her mouth. Yawn! And Snooze copied her. Woof! Yawn! It's fun! Lila shouted. Granny Knapp joined in, her yawn rumbling like a soft song. See? It's your body's happy tune. Lila snuggled into the blanket, yawning one more time. So we yawn to cool down and chill out? Granny Knapp nodded. That's the yawny truth. It's your brain's little helper. As the moon rose high, turning Dozeville silver, Lila hugged Granny Knapp. I love yawning, she said. Snooze barked back. Woof, me too. Back home. Lila yawned by her window, smiling at the stars. Good night, yawny brain, she whispered. Snooze curled up beside her, yawning a tiny woof, dreaming of yawn parties. In Dozeville, every yawn was a little hug, and Lila adored them all.